Right, I'll just go through the two um, uh, example patches that are part of exercises 2A. Um, <coughs> I suggest I've, I've uploaded the exercises on the right hand side here. I realised I wasn't doing that before. Um, so you won't have been, those of you who haven't been, uh, uh, who don't have access to the class materials, um, you won't have been seeing what exercises I've been setting. So if I have them sitting on the right hand side, you can at least uh, kind of follow along um, as, I, as I walk through them. I'll try and, try and remember to do that from now on. Um, anyway, it says download the patch blue, which is I've now done from uh, well, you, yeah, from from the website. It's similar to what uh, we've seen um, <coughs> in terms of well, if we run through the patch and, and and sort of establish how it works, we've got a metro and a counter, and um, it's counting through uh, counting between one and twenty-four, um, and then select is counting um, those what are effectively beats. Um, and it's counting every three beats, so one, four, seven, ten, thirteen, and so on. Um, and uh, maybe I should play it. This is embarrassingly awful in terms of how it sounds, but uh, it's uh, only an example. Um, uh, so, <coughs> as I say, we've, we've got uh, a regular beat pattern happening here, um, but we have it uh, in, we have a kind of triplet quality. So you have uh, the, the, the bass note, if you like, happening on the first beat of the triplet, and then on the third beat of the triplet you have a chord. Um, uh, and uh, so overall we have a sort of um, uh, an eight beat um, eight beats in the bar, or eight triplet beats in the bar, if you like. <coughs> anyway, so the bass notes are dictated by what's happening on the left-hand side here, um, and uh, all of that goes into, well, we'll come back to this plus object in a minute, um, it goes through the make note and the note out objects as we've come across before, so we don't need to worry about them. I'm going to skip this bit for a minute and move to the right-hand side, and just uh, this, this also should be familiar. Um, we've got a select object here. Notice that select is abbreviated to S E L, which you can do, um, and that gives us uh, select. Well, it, it, it uh, enables us to select the first beat of each bar. Um, which, if we count each first beat of each bar, then that essentially gives us a bar count. Um, which, uh, as we walk through the number of bars, we then have another select object uh, which counts between 1 and 12, and each of those is sending, uh, well, var various of those are sending message boxes with numbers in them. Um, so the first bar will <coughs> send out um, a 0, or at least will trigger a 0, um, and then beat f 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will send out uh, a number 5, uh, 6, 7 will send out a number 0 again, uh, 8, 9, we'll send out 7, and so on. Um, so what are those doing? Well, that's what the plus object is here for. Um, what they're doing, um, again, a couple of exercises ago, I think 1B, uh, we looked at the, the idea of transposition by means of just adding numbers, um, and that's exactly what's happening here. So the whole of this sequence, because it all goes through this plus object, um, is being added to whatever it gets sent from the right hand side here. So if it gets sent to zero, then each of those numbers will be added to zero, which means that the numbers won't change essentially. Uh, so it will be 48, 52, 55, 57 and so on. Um, <coughs> when we get to bar five, we get the number five being sent into the right hand side of the plus object, which means that every note, or every number that's coming from, uh, from here is going to have uh, the number 5 added to it, which essentially is going to transpose it up by a perfect fourth. It's five semitones, which is a perfect fourth. And then in bar 7, we get a 0 again, so it transposes back down to uh, what is the tonic. Um, and then in bar 9, we have seven semitones um, 
transposition, which gives us a perfect fifth above, and then a perfect fourth, and then one, and then five. So we have a, basically a blues sequence. Um, and uh, the whole lot is, as I say, being transposed. Um, and, uh, and just as with the Bach example that we looked at um, before, we've got um, a bit over here, which is um, determining the... Uh, the sequence of notes or sequence of beats, and then we've got a beat over a bit over here, which is determining the sequence of bars. Um, and this is a great thing about these uh, essentially very simple uh, objects is that you can you can dictate various levels of structure with them. So here we've got, as I say, beat beat based, you know, moment to moment happenings, and then here we've got um, bar by bar happenings, and then you could have another one. Um, counting the number of bars to give you a sort of larger scale, scale structural um, determin determin determining what happens over a larger scale structure. Just check time, doing okay. Um, <clears throat> so what's this bit here, in the middle here? Well you'll, you'll remember again from exercise 1b I think that we have three numbers in a bar that are separated by commas and if I click on this message box we get a chord. It's currently being transposed up by um, a perfect fifth, remember, because we've just had a seven coming in here. Um, so it's not actually 60, 64, 67, it's something above that. Actually, if I, if I just click on this one, there you go. Now, you've got, now, now it's what it should be, which is 60 is the note middle C, 64 would be the note middle, uh, middle E, if you like, and 67 would be G. Um, so something about what's happening here is determining uh, when this is being sent. And uh, if you remember a minute ago I said that uh, we get chords on the third beat of every triplet or the third sort of subbeat, if you like, of every triplet. Um, <clears throat> and that's being determined by this, n this um, object here which is uh, called a modulo uh, operator. Um, and although it looks like a percentage it doesn't really have anything to do with percentages. What it is, is a kind of remainder calculator. Um, if you look at its help file, you, know, you might remember that if you... Uh, I just need to unlock the, the patch. If you click on Alt and then click on the object, and it brings up... Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to copy it. Um, it brings up its help file, and it says uh, divide two numbers and output the remainder. Um, so as I say, it's a kind of remainder um, operator. So what, what happens is that a number comes into here, <coughs> and it looks at how many of the numbers that are on the right-hand side of the object will go into the number that you have sent it. So in this case, let's go back to uh, zero. Whoops, excuse that. Okay, so zero, uh, the number of threes in zero would be um, zero. We're not interested in that number, what we are interested in is what's left over. So in that case, it would be zero. There's nothing left over. Um, the number of threes in one, if we were to... Uh, count up one. Oops, there we go. Um, <coughs> is uh, the number of threes in one is zero, but there's one left over. So actually, what I should do is to put a number box here. I need to hurry up a bit because otherwise I'll run out of time. I've got eight, uh, one and a half minutes to explain this. Um, the number of threes in in one is zero, but we have um, one left over. So I need to just write that in again. There you go. Um, <coughs> if we add, add one, uh, the number of threes in two is zero, but we have two left over. Increment again. The number of threes in three is one, but we have zero left over. The number of threes in four is one, but we have one left over. The number of threes in five is one, but we have two left over. The number of threes in six is two, but we have zero left over. And so on. And so we, we're basically um, getting the number 0, 1, 2 in here, depending on what's left over um, from, uh, from doing that calculation. Uh, if you then choose the number 0 uh, of each of those, then we're going to get uh, a trigger, if you like, on every third beat of the triplet. Well, every third, um, yeah, we'll, we'll call it subbeat of the triplet. Hence, triggering the chord at that point. So you will notice if I slow this down to say 300 and play it back, you will notice that we get the chord upon the zero. 
So that's that one. That's that blue exercise. <laughs>